the hardest part about it is not ever going to remember what happened in that period of time those six hours no matter what I do I will never remember and the only person that does remember or knows is him April is National Awareness of Sexual Assault Month, and right here at the center of Felician University in Rutherford is a very powerful display known as the Clothesline Project. It's hosted by the YWCA of Bergen County. There are other installations throughout the area. It's part of an international program. The shirts are made by those who are survivors of sexual abuse. I made this shirt in hopes that it can help other people to be aware that these things do happen to just everyone. Sophia Pika is one of the many stories on this clothesline. She was brave enough to share with me that in 2008, one night while she had been drinking, a guy she had dated for only a month had come over and she knows in her heart of hearts that he sexually took advantage of her. Some of the things that I help other people walk through is knowing that they're not alone because that's like a big step. When something like that happens, you think, why me? Mm. Now I wanna share with you some of the other heart-wrenching stories out here. There are two shirts that were made by twins who say they were both sexually assaulted by priests. And another shirt reads, dad and brother, you broke my heart. And below it says, I'm not mad and I'm not scared anymore. Reading these shirts, I have to be honest, I just wanted to break down in tears. These things are not are not easily discussed, so this is a way for us to tell students it's okay to talk about it. Felician University has taken part in this project for several years, and stats show that one out of every five women on a college campus is the target of sexual assault. How do they feel about the perpetuation of the complete fabrication and lie that is the one in five stat that came from a literally an internet survey from 2007. It's not only been debunked, but even the people that put it out said, you know, our numbers weren't really accurate. It was completely skewed in one direction. Bill, this is where I challenge you. Sure. And I actually believe that number might be a lot higher. This is an issue that a lot of people remain silent. Either they're embarrassed, they're afraid that they'll be harmed or hurt. And so we don't know the true statistics in this case. Well, we know that one in five is not true. If you look at the reports, not only from police and campus authorities, and even some of the organizations pushing this, they say that number is actually closer to one in 50. I think that you first have to deal in facts before you deal in emotion. And secondly, I'm not so sure that you can qualify a good feeling in my heart of hearts as evidence. She has a point in the potential underreporting of these sexual assaults. We don't know whether or not they are underreported or by what factor, obviously because it's not being reported. But the awareness campaign could serve a valuable purpose by encouraging women to shake off the shame and the stigma of reporting something they believe happened to them and leave it to the proper law enforcement authorities to investigate and determine the truth of the matter. It's an interesting point, Alex, that you make. And the problem I have with the awareness campaigns is I think it pushes more women to report things that actually didn't happen. We're arguing a lot about the statistics and you know how many women reported, how many women keep it secret. The truth is a lot of women, when it does happen, to them they take it to their grave but what yeah. I want to see what I love about this awareness campaign is that they're using these t-shirts and art to express their feelings art has been known to be one of the best forms to express your emotions and feelings so at least they're doing that you're gonna get a debate over the numbers you're never gonna get a number there but anything that helps women shake this stigma absolutely it's, it's awesome not if it leads to false reporting and false you're accusations. gonna make that argument forever because yeah. you're never gonna be able to get a real number so you'll be able to dismiss this whole thing based on the fact that there's no real numbers and there never will be real numbers. Bill, one is one too many.